Welcome, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. It's a beautiful day here in April. About another month away, we're gonna meet our frost date, our last frost date. And so, so I'm out here in the garden. Uh, I wanted to, to uh, direct sow some Detroit dark red beets. And so I'm glad you could join me today. I wanted to share some tips and ideas on how to do that. So before we get started direct sowing the seed in the garden, I just wanted to talk to you about some important points to know about seed germination. Now I have here a chart here uh, from the Cooperative Extension System, uh, soil temperature conditions for vegetable seed gen germination. And so, so what I use here at Plant Smart Living is I have a meat thermometer here that you can check the soil temperatures. You know, you'd want to check them a couple different spots in your garden, but you know, right now my soil temperature is about 52 degrees. And so, here on this uh, soil temperature chart here, it tells you that red beets, you know, the minimum soil temperature is 40 degrees, and then the optimum range is 50 to 85. And so we're at like the optimum temperature, soil temperature right now for, for direct sowing these seeds in your garden. And so, uh, what we're gonna do next is, uh, Start planting these seeds. Now you want to make sure your soil is nice and loose and you know here in Plant Smart Living Gardens we use the uh, composted leaf mulch amended with topsoil. And you know red beets you want to make sure they have a good six to eight hours of full sun. And so, so anyhow we're going to get started here uh, sowing these seeds. And you know behind every seed pack there's always is some helpful information. For instance here they behind the the uh, pack, they tell you planting depth a half inch. Now you can also plant a little bit, bit deeper, it's not going to hurt. Maybe up to even one inch, I'll probably plant these about one inch. And then they tell you to thin to two to four inches. And then full sun and then maturity is 58 days when you can start reaping your harvest. And so, you know, they always do give you some helpful information. And so, so what I like to use here is I use a pole here to mark my rows. I came in at about Six, to six inches and then I'm going to be planting these about 12 to 12 inches apart and then just I go back and forth work this pole into the soil back and forth and then it kind of marks your rows I basically like to use my hands for most of the gardening gardening here you know all good fertile soil I mean it should be nice and loose where you can just work your hands right through the soil like this and so your hands and your fingers make a good plow and then you also want to make sure that you know there's no big clumps because you always want your seed to have nice good contact with the soil and so you want to make a you know just form a, a V shape in your pack here and it might take a little while to develop a little bit of rhythm here before you start dropping them out and you know it never hurts to overseed a little bit in case a few may not germinate and then you know once you develop a rhythm it can go pretty quick just dropping them into the soil and germination on these is probably going to take about 10 days So that pretty much does it for that. And then what I'm simply gonna do is just push it back with my hands. It's not a big deal. Planting seeds is very simple. You just need to make sure you follow, and then I'm gonna tamp it down. You just wanna make sure you follow a good, few good basic guidelines. And then once these come up, you're gonna maybe wanna thin them, and the best way to do that is to get a pair of scissors rather than pull, pull the little plant out. So just carefully tap it down. And then 
I have here in front of me a row cover. I always like using these these row covers. I would highly recommend using row covers. You know, it keeps the heavy rains off your seeds and, and all the birds and and the different animals. And then I have these nice garden labels, and you may have seen them before, that I use and you know you want to date it and date them and label them. And so so there you go. Uh, and then again, you want to make sure you keep these seeds well watered. You don't want any of your seeds to dry out, whether you sow your seeds indoors or outdoors. You definitely want to keep them moist, especially during the germination period. So let's just give these a nice watering in. You know, you don't want to saturate them, but you just want to give them a nice watered watering to help settle some of the soil in, but you don't want it to be waterlogged either. You want those seeds to be able to breathe. And so I think that's going to give them a really nice start. You know, gardening's so much fun. You get to see the fruits of your labor and, you know, planting uh, seeds of, you know, the red beets or Swiss chard or any seed packet, they're normally around $2. And so you can really get a bang for your buck. You can get a huge harvest for minimal cost. And so, you know, and again, you're getting the nice fresh vegetables, taking them directly to your house. And so, you know, think about Swiss chard or kale, for instance, that's pick and come again. And so as long as you pick the outer leaves, you can continue harvest your plants all through the summer, all through your season, depending on where you live, you can do it all year round. And so for under $2, you can feed your whole family greens. And so, you know, that's that's just wonderful news. And so, you know, today we, the culture, we've gotten away from gardening and, and you know, we're just so, so much rely on the supermarkets and stuff. So, so let me encourage you to, you know, think about gardening or even start with container gardening and, you know, get some, uh, soil medium for your your containers and then just do some direct sowing or even buy seedlings and you know I buy seedlings here as well uh, broccoli and my uh, cauliflower and and uh, cabbage I buy them from raised locally and I just buy the transplants or the seedlings I'll be doing that sometime later this week but anyhow you know gardening's fun you get to enjoy the, the fruits of your labor and you know watch these little plants grow and so so anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today. It's been fun out here in the garden. It's a nice uh, sunny day here. We actually had snow a couple days ago here, which was a, a rarity here in Pennsylvania. So, so anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today, and I hope you have a wonderful day. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.